So this video steps up the accuracy of the calibration to another level by measuring the calibration at every single zoom position. Of course this means that we have to calibrate in many different steps so we have a automatic way of calculating this calibration. Let's have a look at how this works. So you can see that there are many zoom positions on this microscope. The one that we've got selected at the moment is the 3.2. So let's see how we can calibrate the 3.2 value. I click on the zoom position and I can now see that I've selected the automatic method of measuring the calibration. So instead of having to draw lines on the image, I click on Get Calibration and the software will automatically calculate the lines and show me them on the screen. And you can see here that it's detected all the edges in the calibration slide. Because we knew that the, the interval was 100 microns, the calculation has now been measured much more precisely than I can do by drawing lines by hand. And I can click Apply to store that measured value. In this particular case, I would normally want to repeat this calibration for all possible zoom positions. I've done this before, so we can now immediately look at the printout form that shows us all the measurements that have been made. And you can see here that for all the different zoom positions I've measured the calibration and the calibration value is is shown in the in the column here. If I'm happy with this I can now print out this form and write on the form the serial number of the calibration graticule that was used so that we can uh, confirm its traceability and the operator uh, that had performed the calibration can sign it to say that uh, it was done according to the standards. So you now go away and print that out and get it signed and you know that your system is precisely calibrated. At this stage it's appropriate to save all those calibration values. We now see that we've got the measured calibration selected with the auto configuration which is the one that I chose. Now we know that whenever we show a scale bar it matches us exactly to the zoom values of the microscope as we can as we can measure